This is Twin Cities Adventures with our Minnesota chicken playlist. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how we built a chicken run. Right behind me is the chicken coop that you can see on our playlist, Minnesota Chickens, the first of our video in our series. This will be the second video in our series. The first thing we need to do is grind that stump down right there with that grinder. Okay, now it's time to dig the holes in the ground. We're doing four holes with four by four posts and cementing those into the ground. Kind of lining up with the pergola so it has this same streamlined look. Okay, we've got all four posts in the ground now, cemented in. And notice the front two here towards the house are taller. That's so we can pitch the roof so the rain goes away from the house. The run is 11 feet wide and 10 feet deep. The back will probably be around six to seven feet tall. And then the front will probably be anywhere between seven and eight feet tall. Now it's time to put the beams on the perimeter of the top. We're going to use two by six by 12 footers. And we're going to attach those to the top first. And then we're going to have to clear the bottom and get those squared away so we can put those in second. There we go. All four support structures are up on the top. Notice that there is a little over a foot overhang in the front and the back for runoff because my panels for the roof are 12 foot sections. I ordered four of those. So I'll apply the ceiling or the roof with that overhang. And then after that is installed, I will see about the overhang on the sides. I'll make little extensions for the sides after the top is up. Now I just need to cut off the extra four by fours on all four corners. And then one other important thing to notice here, I am building this so the rain goes away from the house for one thing. And another thing that I'm building this for is so if the day ever comes when we don't want chickens, it will be an enclosed garden with raised garden beds. So that'll be nice to keep all the predators and the animals out of your garden. So thinking ahead, just in case someday, five, 10 years later, we don't want chickens, we'll have an enclosed garden with uh, raised garden beds in there. That'll be awesome. Here's a view from the inside window, the pond, a couple of mallards in the pond every year. And then that's not up and running yet. And then chickens. Be a nice view from the window in the house. All four beams are in on the bottom now. They're all cut. It's squared off and perfectly level. You had to rip up a little bit of flagstone for now. And now the next thing is we're going to put in the cross beams on the roof. And we're gonna have to pull out that pear tree and relocate that. Okay, now we're just screwing the rafters in here, toenailing these into place. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So the roof can go on there. We're actually gonna put hardware cloth on the top first for the future. So if we wanna convert this into a enclosed garden, we'll just have the hardware cloth on there. And then we can just take the ceiling panels off that will provide shade for the chicken coop. That is complete. Now we're digging two more holes for two more four by fours. One here, that's where the door is gonna go to open and close into the run. And then we'll do another one right over there so we can build the hallway that attaches to the chicken coop. Okay, I'm gonna show you a technique that is gonna make this video worthwhile just for this. So it's the sandwich technique. So I put this piece of hardware cloth in, it's four feet wide, 
And I, what I did is I loosened the screws on the top and the bottom, and then I stapled the hardware cloth to the face of that. And then I'm gonna put a two by four on the front side and screw that in and it completely sandwiches it in and gives it a nice finished look and it's perfectly flush. Now on the inside, you see it's behind this four by four. It's stapled into it. Plus the screws are gonna go from that two by four into the four by four. And then another two by four goes on this side and then a two by four will sandwich it in and so on and so forth all the way around. And I'll show you that when it's all done. Here's a quick update. My retaining wall is put in along the front here. And we've got the hardware cloth all the way around here. That's gonna be the door. I'm gonna build a custom door there. But you can see that the hardware cloth is really nice sandwiched in between. So it's nice and finished off. Now the hallway into the chicken coop is framed out and hardware cloth has been wrapped around it. See this little lip around the edge here. Now that's just the outer side. And now I'm gonna sandwich it in with more structural support from the inside so it's finished off just like the rest of the coop. And then we'll do the the bottoms also. That shape that you see right there is called organic. Okay, the chicken wire or hardware cloth is all finished all around the perimeter of the coop. Everything is straightened off. This little hallway from the chicken run to the coop is tunneled off and framed in. So now we're just putting the predator apron on the ground all the way around the perimeter here. We put the nails into the side of the run. Now we're putting some landscape stakes into the ground. Keep that down and then we'll fill backfill dirt on there and then all the perennials will come up around it. Right here on the edge, I peeled up some sod and now I'm gonna sandwich that back down on top of that and stomp on that. That way we can mow it and not worry about the uh, predator apron getting caught in the lawnmower. On this side, we're gonna bring the flagstone patio all the way up to the edge of it. So we don't have to worry about that. We're gonna remove the strawberry patch and then we're gonna flagstone over to here. Let's check out the front side here. We just finished making the door yesterday. So we have to put another couple locks on it. Have to get some more two by fours to finish this off. But here's, you just open that up. It's all hardware cloth from the inside here. And then we have to level the ground off. Next on the inside framed off around the perimeter of the ground where the hardware cloth is. See, we're doing that in the inside here, framing that all off so everything's sandwiched in and completely sealed tight. Here's the view of the tunnel on the inside going to the hen house. We'll just make the little ladder come down into the run here. But I have to get some more two by fours and I'll frame this out for structural support. A nice little view of that. See, we dug up the pear tree out of this corner here and transplanted that. It's right there next to Samuel. It was a successful transplantation of that tree. And then the roof here, we temporarily have a tarp. I still have to put some uh, two by twos in here and screw that in so that sandwiches that in nice and tight. Okay, half inch hardware cloth has been applied to the roof also for two reasons. Number one, someday this will turn into an enclosed garden with raised garden beds, possibly, if we don't want chickens anymore. And second of all, because the roof panels that we ordered are gonna be on back order for a month. So this was left over from our supplies, so I thought might as well throw it on there right now. You can have the mulches in. This is cypress mulch, and 
we use that because it's biodegradable and it is apparently one of the better compounds to have as a base in a chicken run. Better than mud. And as this breaks down and gets chicken poo on it and when it steams necessary, that can easily be removed and put out into the back orchard for mulch. Here's the walkway from inside the coop. Head out. And then there's the walkway going down. And here's a view of that from inside the run. Give you a quick little tour here of the run so far. Their little ladder going up to the hen house. We've got the water that we're gonna be setting up here. And there's the door. The food will be hanging right from here. Here's a statue of the rooster. And then there's a uh, roosting bars here and here. There's the full spread there. We're still working on just some final touch-ups and detail work. I gotta trim the chicken wire here. We're gonna put a tarp over the top for now because the roof is on back order. It'll be here in about a month and then I'll probably show you that in another video. But that is our run. Thanks for watching our chicken run video in our Minnesota Chickens playlist, Twin Cities Adventures, out.